and stuck in something moving very very slow shaggy haired dog and what kind of breed that is it? Lizard. But the, uh, lizard. He's a lizard. looking for a lizard oh man i can keep one for him real quick we saw a documentary that all the lizards turned into birds <laughs> Some art piece. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's uh, there's the cover of the Lost Ark. They found it. Pretty, pretty nice gold. Whatever it is. This is Richard Corey, out of SedonaTV.com. Right and Cottonwood New Art Venue. Come on, two weeks. Art from Sedona. Yes. Art from Sedona. Some different kind of art. Now you see I have Grace Kurt with here in front of the camera. She's quite an artist. You have all kinds of different things you do, huh, Grace? I do. Wow, you're pretty prolific in your art. <laughs> what, what's your favorite thing that you do? Oh, I, I go in spurts of doing really? a lot of different things. You know how artists are. We start with one project yeah. and move on to the next and right. then come back to them and so forth. And I do a lot of um, different kinds of paintings. Is um, acrylic? This is acrylic. Yeah. And this is kind of uh, the Zentangle stage that I was in. And I was doing some Zentangle with the acrylics here. And Beautiful. Just it's, having fun playing mm. around. It's a combination of uh, Jackson Pollock and everybody else. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I used to live in Alaska. And that's actually oh, really? where I started painting. And oh. these scenes down here are from southeast Alaska, where I lived on Prince of Wales Island. So this is all yours to the Indian? Yes. And then this is, uh, I began making talking sticks and mm. also some ceremonial feathers. Uh -huh. My father had a fly tying collection. Oh. And when he passed away, my mother sent me this big, huge box up to Alaska. And I yeah. thought, what am I going to do with this? So I schlepped it around for 10 years. Mm. When I moved here, I had this conversation with my dad. And I said, what should I do with it? And this is what came of it. I started making the uh, talking sticks. Nice. And then, but you, uh, some of your necklaces right here, they're really beautiful and, they, oh, and they're really you. they're really reasonable. Oh yes, I well I try to wow. make them reasonable so people will buy them. I don't want to keep taking them from show to show. <laughs> necklaces and earrings and everything, huh? And then this is one of my specialties. I make the um, tree of life pendants, like, mm -hmm. and each one of them is like individually comes comes out just a, on a just all its own, you know. Are you from here? Right. I'm actually from Philadelphia area. Oh, cool. And You're recently here? And I live in Camp Verde right now. Cool. For how long? I've been here for three years. Oh, three years. Well, that, that was a big change, wasn't it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a it small was. town compared to yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. Your prices look really reasonable. Do you have a website or an email address I you do. want to tell people about? I do. Go My ahead. website is called journeyofjoy.info, and it has a lot of the products and things that I sell and that I make. And then one of the other things that I do is I go into the desert mm -hmm. and I make chaparral. So I make a chaparral salve, which is a healing salve and a plant that the natives have been using for hundreds of years. Oh, yeah? And I make the tea and soap. Wow. And then I have smudge sticks also. I have to ask you, Grace, are you one of those fortunate artists that make a living off your art? I, I do make a living off my art. Wow, that's yes, fantastic. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. Maybe one out of ten does. Yeah. You're one of the fortunate ones. Yeah. So you've been doing it for a long time then, I huh? have. I, well, I started in as a floral designer, and then I went into balloons and party decoration. Hmm. And uh, finding that it's very difficult here in Sedona to continue that, and it's uh, educating people to use that kind of thing for their parties. So I just have gone with my art. I've always gone with... Um, gotten into the native plants and mm -hmm. things. When I lived in Alaska, I did a lot of tinctures wow. and salves up there. Busy, busy lady. I am. Before I let you go, Grace, let you give me out your website or email address or phone me again. Okay, I'm Grace Kirkwood, and my website is journeyofjoy.info, and you can reach me there if you want to get in touch with me.